This is just a quick preview video to show you what we, some of the stuff we're going to be coming out with uh, later in the year, early next year. Um, here I have a top secret prototype of a controller we made for Soundtribe Sector 9. Uh, it has a regular MIDI keyboard in it, but it also has prototypes of our new uh, MIDI modules uh, that we're going to be coming out with. Um, these are uh, Eurorack mountable. They can fit into any standard Eurorack, uh, and they come up in, in 20 plus configurations of uh, buttons, pots, faders, encoders. Uh, right here, uh, this is a specific controller we made for um, uh, Soundtribe Sector 9. I have the 4x4 button grid here. I have uh, four buttons, four faders, and four rotary potentiometers, and that's repeated three times. Um, the nice thing about the modular stuff is you can have it set up uh, in the exact configuration you want, and we're also going to have enclosures that you can put these different modules in. Um, like I said, there's 20 plus configurations. Uh, you can use buttons, like here, the 4x4 grid. You can use multiple buttons, multiple rows of potentiometers. Uh, you can have the short faders like I have here. You can also have uh, longer 60 millimeter faders, and you can have encoders. Um, there's some other stuff we're going to be releasing too. Uh, they're sidecars for the block and OMRGB. RGB. This is a little sidecar here that has um, rotary pots and these joysticks on it. Uh, and it connects to the block or the ohm RGB with a ribbon cable. Uh, here's another little prototype I have here, and this is just an additional faders and knobs. You guys might have seen this in another video I did um, on the ohm RGB. So I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration uh, on how somebody might use this. Uh, please forgive my audio. I just threw something together to make this uh, unofficial um, top secret video here. Uh, so hopefully nobody finds out what I'm doing. Uh, so basically, I have uh, I'm using this with Ableton Live, and I have a 4x4 grid set to uh, trigger loops. Um, I have follow action set here to um, for this drum track I have. Um, I have some effects set up over here, a track select, EQ. So right here I have my EQ for my drums, uh, and you can see as I bring it in, you'll hear it. So I have my drums set up on this track right here. Then I have another set of samples here. So I have this just looping. And then I also have some effects set up on here. So if I go to track two, nice thing about this, uh, I got this joystick which is giving me some pretty cool control. So it gives a cool XY kind of effect. And I have some extra effects set up over here. I have a ping pong delay. So that's a basic little demo here of uh, what this guy can do. Um, with these over here, you'll also be able to build these by yourself. Uh, they're going to be uh, we're going to be selling them as DIY kits, so you can populate them any way you want and make your own controller, put it in your own enclosure, and hook everything up to the brand.